So we flushed uh, the pre-filters, the carbon's been flushed. Now the water is going to enter the membrane and flow this way and then out through the drain kit. Uh, and the membrane through manufacturing has a storage uh, solution in it. It's a dry food grade glycerin and we want to flush it out. The smaller EX series, uh, they don't come with flush kits which would allow you to flush the membrane out. This is an economy RO. This is the entry level RO for the beginner gardeners or for the, the minimum amount of drinking water. What we do is we just start it up and let it run for about an hour. And we're going to turn the water pressure on slowly again because there's air bubbles in here that need to purge out. And now I can hear the water moving through the membrane. And it's starting to come out of the drain line now. Here it comes. And pretty soon it's going to start coming out of the RO side as well. And you can see the water's a little bubbly on the drain side. And that's the glycerin coming out. That's the storage solution. And so we want to let this run for about an hour. Uh, and then that membrane will be clean. And discard the RO water for the first hour as well. Uh, so there's air bubbles coming out. You can see in the RO tubing as the permeate side of the membrane is uh, being purged from air as well in storage solution. So just let this run for about an hour and after that uh, you can hook this back up to your storage tank or whatever and um, you're good to go. You're making water. The next step is to flush the carbon filter. Now uh, if your unit came with a standard uh, CC we call them, this would be a 25 uh, CF-2510CC. This is the size, two and a half by 10 inch. That's the designation and the part number. And CC uh, is this type of carbon. It's kind of a white block. And this is a coconut shell carbon filter. It's really great for chlorine. It's not effective very much for chloramine, but this is a standard carbon block that ships in these units. If you use this block, you don't need to flush it. You can move on to the next step, which is uh, purging the air from the pre-filters and, and the membrane. But if your unit came with a KDF carbon filter, and this would be a CF 2510 KDF, which is a premium, highly activated catalytic carbon bed, the best carbon on the plant, by the way, for water treatment, and a bed of KDF 85 at the bottom. This carbon is the best carbon you can put in a water filter like this. And, uh, but it's really dusty on startup. There's a lot of carbon fines. And so we want to flush it out. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So to flush a carbon, what we do is we take the carbon output tube, which feeds the input of the membrane on the other side of the filter right here. We're going to disconnect this tube and pull it back through right here. It's right here. And we're going to turn the water pressure on slowly and let this water flow uh, out, we're going to flow it into here so you can see it. Uh, this could flow down a drain. And we don't want these carbon fines going into a brand new membrane and clogging a brand new membrane. And they will clog it uh, right away. So you'll waste a very expensive and wonderful instrument if we do that. So we have the carbon tube in here. I'm going to clip it on. And I'm going to bring up the water pressure very slowly. I'm not even going to go full blast. I'm just going to turn it on about 30%. And I can hear the water filling up the sediment filter, crossing over the hex nipple, filling up the carbon filter, and here it comes. And you can see all that carbon dust filling up this, this beaker right now. And you can see all the air pockets that are spitting out of this line. I just turned the water off to show you what this looks like. Here's a beaker full of that carbon dust that if, we're, if we were to let get in the membrane, it would just surely ruin the membrane immediately. Um, and also there's a lot of air in this carbon filter, air pockets, because it's uh, very big chunks of carbon and we want to flush it out until the water runs smooth out of here um, and there's no more air. So we're going to flush it for about 20 gallons of water. And now you can see that the water stream has no air bubbles in it. It's running really smoothly. The water is crystal clear. That carbon filter is flushed. It's been about 20 gallons of water. And we're ready to hook it up to the membrane input again. 
So I'm going to turn off the feed water. And I'm going to hook this tube back up to the membrane input. Like so. And that's it. The carbon filter has been flushed. And now we're ready to start this unit up.